Is that good? <laughs> That's I said, know, but I want to eat his. <laughs> <laughs> you got a happy meal, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I write it on the board here. So we want to know year goals and year to date actuals. And new monthly goal okay so Gus where are you at for consult set <coughs> where, where, tell me like what's your goal what you do and what you have left my my goals was 130 consult set 130 year. consult set okay and year to date, I have 47. 47. So here you guys, check out this map, okay? First number is a goal. Second number, or second number is what has actually been set. So you take the goal, 130. You subtract 47, which equals, Gus? 83. 83. So according to our uh, spreadsheet, according to our analysis al algorithm, whatever you want to call it, he has 83 appointments left for this year. So there's one month left in the year. So how many does he have left? Uh, how many does he have to do for this month in order to hit his goal? 83. 83. If it was two months, it would be 41, something like that. 41.5, right? right? Okay. So he has 83. All right. Awesome, Gus. Great. <laughs> now, where are you at with, uh, what is it, appointments? Or fire sign. Fire sign. My goal is 80. 80? I In, got 29. 29, fire sign. 51 left. 51 left for one <coughs> month, so in one month he needs to do 51. I know it seems like a lot. That's because this is the first year we looked at his stuff. So. Honestly, to hit his goal, tell me about your uh, closings. So, buyer sold, I mean, 30. 30. Uh, right now, I have 25. 25. So, I have five left. Five left to close before the end of the year, and he has five left in escrow that would close this year, at least. Right? Right. So, what I know is this conversion ratio, because he's going to hit his goal, we know this is wrong because that was based on a percentage. So we know based on this, because he's been filling this out consistently and we know like, okay, this is where you're at. I could say, oh, for sure, you don't need 80 uh, buyer brokers signed to close 30 deals. He probably needs more like 60, 50, 50, 40, 40, 40. 40 ish buyer broker signatures to get 30 deals to close. But I also know they probably didn't have everyone sign. Right. Most people sign. Right. Okay, so we'll take an effect for that. Yeah, you gotta take out the no-shows and things like that. Right, well that's signed. This yeah. is signed, so they showed. They showed up, they signed. Well, I know, but that's the difference between the two is you got the no-shows, the ones that just don't wanna sign. Right. Like right. right, okay, that makes sense. Right. The ones that didn't, but once you make an offer with them, that's it, yeah. they sign. Okay, or something like that. Or like, if they haven't, you should put it with your offer. Like, here's the offer. I also need to buy a broker agreement that shows my representation of you. Right. We want to know, what is your new monthly goal for, um, what's the first one, appointments? Consults? Consults. What's your new, what's your new goal? Consult said for this month? Yes. It would be 51, okay? Yeah. Well, no, no, I'm sorry. It would be eight. What is it? 83. 83. 83. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll do a realistic number. Of <laughs> right. Because of the way we set it up, we didn't know his conversion ratio. I'm just telling you based on yeah. our initial like conversion ratio, our initial conversion ratio, we didn't know how good he was at converting. So we put his percentage on average. 
what, what does the average person need? How many appointments does the average person need to close this many transactions? Well, Gus doesn't need that many appointments to close that many transactions. So now we know we're gonna look back at his year, and we're gonna go, okay, it looks like you really only need 40 appointments to close 30 transactions. Now when he sets his new goal, we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna go, what's your goal? Great, your goal is 50, okay? And then that means you have to have how many appointments to close 50? Well, no, it'll probably be like 70. Where initially it was like 80 buyer brokers signed to get that many because we didn't know his conversion ratio. Your conversion ratio is different than Eric Ramos, different than Gus, different than Malachi. Everyone has a different conversion ratio. So that's how we get our percentages and that's how I'm gonna figure out what your goals need to be. And then when we figure that out, you all have a pretty good foundation except for Malachi and Alicia. We, we still need to see like where you guys are at as far as conversion ratios. But the rest of you can go, oh, all I need to do, all I need to do to close this many deals is set this many appointments. So you can stop thinking about how many you have in escrow. Because that's a lag measure. Lag measure, that is a result of what you did. You need to do something else to get them there. Right. So we want to look at lead measures. What's your lead measure? A lead measure is how many, we can make it even simpler. We can go, okay, well how many contacts, how many, but then you guys gotta get better at tracking. How many face-to-face -face or over the phone or person-to-person -person contacts do you need to close 50 deals in a year? Then all you have to do with every day is, okay, for the year, if I wanna close 50 deals, I know it takes me uh, 100 contacts to close one deal. Well, if I wake up one day and say, hey, I wanna close one deal today, I'm gonna make 100 freaking contacts. I make 100 contacts today, guess what? That's gonna convert into one closed transaction. Well, guess what? Now I know how to close 30 deals a month, is make 100 contacts per day, okay? So now you know, like, what do I need to do today? What's the smallest thing I need to do today to get to my big goal? Does that make sense, everyone? Yeah. Awesome. All right, so uh, how many uh, closings do you need to, you obviously need five, right? Yep. Perfect. How many do you have in escrow? Like, I think I have seven, eight, or nine. Seven, eight, or nine. <laughs> what you need to have is 789. Eight. I know that's what you're thinking. All right, cool. Uh, Gus, go ahead and finish off. Thank you for being an example. Let me know uh, what else is on here.